Hello, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. In this video, we'll be looking at the if error function. This is a very useful function to help you with Excel giving you error messages because it's trying to uh, basically use a formula that you've entered, but for whatever reason, it, it can't give you a result and it considers it an error. So then you want to show it in a different way. For instance, you have this table here where uh, a VLOOKUP function looks up for the customer number and customer name in this table and then brings up here the customer number and the customer address. Now let's have a look if we're going to put in here a customer name which is not included in the list that we have there, as you can see, we get an error messages because Excel looks for customer A in this range here you cannot find it gives an error message so how do we um, prevent from this kind of error message showing you might want to show in a different way we use the if error function so we type if error open parenthesis and then as you can see this is the value that the function will be looking at and then comma value if error what do we want Excel to show if it comes up with an error message. We want to show, for instance, something like not um, available or whatever you want, whatever message you want to show. Close parenthesis, enter, and there you go. And then you can, of course, copy this and all the way up across every single cell. Uh, so then you use it uh, throughout this table. Similar for this. Um, uh, for the customer address, what we need to do, let's repeat it, if error value, then the value that we want to show, not available, close parenthesis, there you go, and then copy it all the way down, and as you can see, this particular one where there is no customer A, it gives us a not available. A few things to notice here, you can put anything, any message you want in there. So I could put just a dash just to show it that there isn't anything. But um, at the same time, I don't want to show and give it too much uh, importance. So you can put a number. Uh, for instance, you can put if whatever you want to put 15. This now becomes a number rather than a text. Um, and you can use the, the if error function in this way. Another way of using it, for instance, let's say that you've got a couple of numbers there you want to divide. 4 divided by 0 obviously gives you an error message. So again, if error, if G12 divided by H12 gives an error, then we want to show, oops, you're not supposed to do that. So. Again, this is a way of either highlighting or hiding some mistakes, not give it too much importance, but uh, just remember, if error function.